This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Let's talk about uh, some smiles that aren't going around. The Ultimate Warrior documentaries. We've we've seen both now. Mm. The A and E one and the Dark Side of the Ring one sparked mm-hmm. a lot of controversy over the last week. Mm-hmm. Did you catch either, or are you just not, not yet? Sure? Not yet. I haven't. I'm. Uh, the last one I saw was Nick Gage. Mm. That's the last one I saw. And then I guess there was the, uh, collision in Korea, the uh, collision in Korea, which I have not seen. And I'm, so I'm behind on those. I think, uh, there is a fascinating piece of footage that you would enjoy from the A and E effort on the ultimate warrior where they had sort of behind the scenes and, and, um, I don't know, never before seen footage of the famous quote unquote Vince apology. So I guess the ultimate warrior was rude to a, a son or a father son duo. And it turns out the father was a well-connected person who had mm. ties to Vince McMahon. So as a result, Vince had the ultimate warrior cut an apology video one night when they're at the matches and warrior was frustrated with it and struggling with it. And you can hear Vince coaching him off camera. It's fascinating. You would love it. Okay. That's on the A and E episode. Yeah. He says okay. the phrase, uh, it's a work Jim. We're working here. Mm. And as long as I've been a wrestling fan, I don't know that I've ever heard Vince's voice say it's a work Jim. Mm. We're working here. It was like, oh, this is cool. So I went into <laughs> it thinking, man, I don't know what else there is to talk about with the ultimate warrior. And I came away thinking, man, that was actually pretty good. Yeah. And then the dark side one, you get to hear from warrior's first wife. Yeah. And I know that you were up there at really the, the crowning moment of his career and she breaks yeah. all that down and how he changed afterwards and just a yeah. lot to, as I like to say, a lot to unpack. So yeah. if you grew up a little, uh, ultimate warrior fan, like I was, I mean, I had an ultimate warrior birthday cake when I was nine. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I was, I was like the biggest ultimate warrior fan ever. So it's cool to, to see his story, uh, for lack of a better phrase, warts and all. That's tremendous. I. I did have some dealings with him. I had some dealings uh, as far as him doing interviews. You know, we did an Ultimate Warrior video cassette, and then obviously I was there up there during the time where, you know, he was making the big run towards WrestleMania six. But I also had an assistant. She has since passed. I don't need to say her name. She was my assistant at Coliseum Videos, and she went on to quit the WWE and start working for the Ultimate Warrior. Yeah. And I think I may have touched on the story before she yeah. contacted me and said, should I do this? And I said, no, you shouldn't because of the type of person I knew he was in real life. And she did and moved from Connecticut to Arizona. And before she got unpacked, he fired her and she called me crying. And so, so anyway, that's uh, that's the only glimpse of, of, of Jim behind the scenes that I can tell you from my perspective, I had a, a good relationship, good working relationship with him. He always had a smile and something nice to say to me. But then again, I go back to this. They all do, right? Yeah. They all, they're all nice to me. And the ones that, the ones that there are some that are very nice to me because they genuinely are good people. And there's some very nice to me because they know that, or they feel that I'm important to their careers. And what they don't understand is that I'm never going to bury anybody. Anyway, I'm going to always talk nice about you on TV. So, but, uh, anyway, the ultimate warrior was a very interesting person, very, very interesting person, uh, with quite a career and I'm sure had a profound effect on many other nine year olds other than yourself. Oh, for sure. And that's yeah. the reason, you know, it's still polarizing to this day. Yeah. Next week, uh, they're covering somebody you're familiar with over on dark side, MJF. Just kidding. Uh, they're, they're cut, co- they're covering uh grizzly. And, oh, wow. Uh, you know, talking about Jake, the snake's dad and, and the whole family dynamic with rock and rebel and Sam Houston or rock and Robin rock and rock and rebel. And... <laughs> uh, anyway, though, the, the, it's going to be, in my opinion, the darkest dark side ever, oh. ever tackled a subject like this. Grizzly was not a nice man. No, not at all. And, and you, and you was know, to me like they all are, but was, sure. yeah. When did you first hear sort of the whispers of, of Grizzlies? Uh, oh, gosh, it was out. It was after I was out of the business. Yeah. 
during the 2001 to 2017 time that I was out of the business, I had heard, and I don't know where I heard it, may have heard it uh, when you and I reconnect, or you and I connected in 2017, maybe that was my first, probably was because I, I was completely removed from the business, you know, any rumors or innuendos or anything that happened back then, but I, I do know, and probably I don't know everything. Right. I don't, don't know the details, but I know he was a, a terrible dad. Well, it's going to be crazy. Uh, and it's happening of course, uh, this Thursday on vice, uh, tomorrow night, as you're listening to this, mm. check it out. But it, uh, as a heads up, it is dark. Mm. Hey, well, thank, thank God we can go back and revisit, huh? No doubt. Hey, I want to briefly mention, have you seen the controversy, uh, this past week about John Cena? No, I've not. Well, I think it's worth a Google. Okay. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I stay away from all that. You do know that it's just, it's just, it's just Google. drama. Stay away from Google. Yeah, I do. I, I mean, I'll Google, I don't know. I'll Google something, but I won't Google about wrestling. I won't Google. I won't get on social media and see all the drama that's there. You don't need that in your life. I don't know what that means. I do. You don't need, you don't need, you don't need made up drama in your life. You just don't need it. I mean, just be, be fucking happy. Okay. That's not it. Yeah. Be happy. And when I look at social media, I see a lot of things I like, but then if I see one or two things I don't like, it pisses me off. I don't want to get pissed off. I don't want to feel that way. Wait, so you don't like being pissed off? No, I don't. Oh, I thought you loved it. No. This whole I, time I, I was under a different impression. Yeah, that's right. I know, I, I know what you love. You love trying to get me pissed off. Why would you say that now? Because you're a fucking instigator is why. Okay. You know, Tony, that's you're, hurtful. Yeah, good. You are a fucking instigator. Okay. You call, you cause trouble. Okay. Well, you're very good at it. Congratulations good. on that. I mean, very good at it. I feel like this is baseless. Really? Yeah. Send it back to the archives. Listen to the shit that you've caused. What have I caused? Okay. Let's, let's run through it. Listen, I don't know. General, general knowledge. But just, just cite a couple okay. of examples so I know okay. what not to do anymore. It will take me some time to find it, but I could find it. Okay. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. And I'm not. I'm sure you've caused some me. shit with Eric Bischoff. Never. With JR. Maybe. With Bruce. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, do you and with and probably not Kurt Angle because he'll stretch you. Uh, fact, fact, I'm super nice. I'm on my P's and Q's. With <laughs> yeah, I him bet you are. With him but him and Arn, I'm on my P's and Q's. But yes. I ain't scared of you, other motherfucker. Okay, yeah, coming soon. Jeff Jarrett's going to be indoctrinated into oh. your shit. Okay, but he's got guitars though. <laughs> you know, somebody saw something great the other day. I think you would like. They suggested uh, somebody on Twitter, and boy, I wish I had it in front of me. I'd shout you out. Hey, you know, Jeff Jarrett should get into the gender reveal business, smash that motherfucking dad with a guitar. And then poof, is it blue or is it pink? I was like, that's actually a great idea. That is a great idea. So I, I sent it to him. So coming soon to a, uh, you know, a, 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 a baby shower near you. That's J E double F whack. It's a boy. It's tremendous. Get up, son. You got a boy. Go have a boy. Somebody help him up, please. <laughs> Good well, we stuff. We don't need any help around these parts. This was fun today going back. Yeah. And I wish Good. it was a little longer. I'm curious why they keep editing these, you know, on the network to make them shorter. Well, hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.